Welcome back to Wake Up Alabama Weekend. I don't know if you know this or not, but Dreamland Barbecue offers several secret menu items. And the best part is they offer recipes and step-by-step -step instructions on how you can recreate these secret dishes at home. How cool is that? Before we went to the break, I told you about one of them. It's an amazing pizza recipe that's as tasty as it is easy to make. So follow along as I take you behind the scenes at Dreamland Barbecue in this week's Restaurants and Recipes. In today's Restaurants and Recipes, we're gonna be tossing up a pizza Dreamland Barbecue style. Let's do this. I'm here with Dreamland's Betsy McAtee, who's gonna walk us through how to make a delicious barbecue chicken pizza. It's really easy to achieve, right? Oh, it's super easy. It's our Dreamland barbecue chicken pizza, and it's made with two of our sauces that we use in-house. We've got it's our right uh, dipping sauce. It's available in our restaurants, online, or in grocery stores. And also our barbecue seasoning shake, which is available in all three outlets as well. And what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you how to assemble it. We've pre-sauteed our vegetables in a little bit of olive oil just to soften up the vegetables. Okay, so what we're going to do is to our pre-made pizza crust that we bought at the store, instead of a red pizza sauce, we're using our dipping sauce. What kind of flavor do you get with this? Oh, it's a great flavor. It's it, If you had Dreamland barbecue sauce meets cre creamy ranch, it's that kind of tangy. Oh, it smells little, good. Little bit of barbecue <laughs> flavor. It is so good. So we're just gonna spread this on here just to kind of cover it. Then to this, we're gonna add our sauteed vegetables. Okay. And what we have here is a half of a green pepper, a half of a red pepper, and a small red onion. And Easy. I'm gonna let you Okay. Show yes, everybody work, how please. easy that is to just spread that out. So this is a matter of getting just the right ingredients together. Absolutely, and you can substitute any vegetables you want. Uh, you can use the orange pepper or you can use the yellow pepper as well. And this would be a great uh, recipe to do with the kids. Oh, so simple and easy with the kids. You can pre-cut this and saute it up mm -hmm. and then they can add whatever vegetables, uh, seasonings they want with it. <laughs> and then to this, we're gonna use um, about two and a half cups of chopped chicken. Obviously, we want you to come pick it up here from us, but if you wanna cook your own at home, you can put it on your grill or you can use a rotisserie chicken. Very easy. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of this on. Now, what does the dry seasoning add to it? It is our version of Dreamland, what we call salt and pepper, and a little bit of a seasoning salt taste. Mm -hmm. We use it in several of our recipes in the restaurant. Um, it just, it, it's a really good flavor. For the last step, uh, we have mozzarella cheese, and this is about two cups of mozzarella cheese. Once again, you can add or subtract based on what you like uh, cheese-wise. Um, you can also, if you want to kick it up a notch, in the grocery stores, they have a jalapeno cheese that is just yummy. Uh, we're mm -hmm. going to make this a G-rated version on the heat scale, so we're just <laughs> using the typical mozzarella. Perfect. And then from here, you can cook it in your oven at home, you can mm -hmm. do it on your grill at home, or what we're going to do here at Dreamland is put it on our pit. Perfect. So if you want to follow me to the barbecue pit, Let's we'll go. just put it on. Let's do it. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to put these on the barbecue pit and cook them till the cheese melts and the bottom's a little bit crispy. Okay. All right. And how long are we going to have them on the pit? Um, depending on your fire, probably about 10 minutes. Um, if you're so that's really quick, very quick, very quick. Um, if you're cooking them at home, it's a 425 degree oven mm -hmm. for seven to ten minutes. And once again, you're just melting the cheese on top because everything's already cooked and just crisping up the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now for the moment of truth. Can't wait to test this out. Put a little dipping sauce on there and get some Absolutely. of that creamy goodness. Mmm. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how quickly it all came together, too. It's such an easy recipe. Mm -hmm. Adults is. or kids can do it. It's great for a weeknight or a weekend. Just if you want something different, mm -hmm. it's a fun product to mm -hmm. use. Delicious. Well, very well done. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm Mary Sackhouse with more restaurants and recipes coverage you can count on. 
That looked delicious, Mary. It looks like you had a lot of fun, too. It was so much fun, and it was really good. <laughs> well, you know, we, we joked, uh, David and I joked a while back that um, Al Ratcliffe, when he went to Peach Country, didn't bring us any peaches back. But you're uh -oh. in good favor with us, because look at oh, all of yes. this that she brought. <laughs> yes. I come bearing gifts. I love it. Okay, <laughs> tell me, tell us what you got here. Okay, so we've got the Dreamland Staples, the ribs, obviously, um, with the famous sauce. Yes. And we've got baked beans, potato salad, coleslaw. And uh, their newest dessert, which I'm really excited about, is the chocolate dream. Uh, so yeah, it as, looks like a dream. <laughs> yeah, it is a dream. So as if you could compete with the banana pudding. But it's, well, that's true. I didn't yeah. think about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so well, it delicious. smells amazing. If yes. only we had a smell of vision I mean, you know, right. you hear that all the time. But it really <laughs> does smell really good. And we get to try it today, I right? Know, I know. I'm excited. Okay. I might have to wait until the break to dive into those ribs. Oh, but <laughs> yes. I have to ask, how was the pizza? Oh, it was so good. It looked delicious. Yeah. And you have, which is a really cool thing, you have the recipes to all of these right, things. Right, right. How can people find out more information if they want to learn how to make it themselves? So all they have to do is go to WIET.com and that's it. all the steps are listed there and it links to Dreamland. So how do you get your hands on these recipes? Because I'm sure that going to restaurants every week, they don't usually give it out to just anyone. So how do you get your hands on these? Oh, uh, well, they don't give all of their secrets, but they do give enough so that people at home can make it and you still have a little bit of the restaurant magic. So Awesome. <laughs> well, it looks like a lot of magic going on, right? here so we're going to dig in and try this uh, what are you going for um, definitely the chocolate dream okay you I'm going to try that I'm going to try a rib how about okay, that do okay, it. Do we're going to enjoy <laughs> this we're going to send it over to David <laughs>